Welcome to my YouTube channel, if you haven't subscribed, please do so for more videos like this. On today's topic, we will talk about the richest musician in Africa. And on number 10, we have Rima. He is a Nigerian singer, rapper, and songwriter. He gained initial recognition following the release of his 2019 song. He received wider recognition for his 2022 single, Calm Down. It was the best Afrobeat song in both Africa and United States. He has a net worth of $27 million. On number 9, we have Diamond Platinums. He is a Tanzanian. He is a singer, dancer, and businessman. He is a founder and CEO of Wick Wasafi record label. He has a net worth of $39 million. He deportedly charges at least $190,500 per show, and he has a private jet. Diamond Platinums is one of the best and biggest musician in Tanzania. He is a very hard-working man, and being born in a poor family, life has teached him a lot. That is what motivated him to be where he is today, has the best musician. On number 8, we have Wizkid, he is a Nigerian singer and songwriter born in Lagos. Wizkid is a prominent voice in the emerging of Afrobeats movement. His music is blend of Afrobeats, he has a net worth of $45 million. He charges at least $2,850 per show. He has luxury cars, houses, and he is also a businessman. On number 7 we have DeVito. He is a Nigerian singer, songwriter, and record producer. He is regarded as one of the most important Afrobeats artists of the 21 century, and is credited alongside Burna Boy and Wizkid for popularizing the genre globally. He is the highest paid Nigerian artist. He has luxury cars, houses, private jets, and many more. He has a net worth of $51 million. On number 6, we have Paul Okoye. Born on 18 November 19, 81, who is better known as Rude Boy. He is a Nigerian singer, songwriter, YouTuber, and entrepreneur. He has a net worth of $77 million. He rose to fame in the 2000s as a member of the P-Square duo with his identical twin brother, Paul Okoye. He has luxury cars, houses, and businesses globally. On number 5, we have Michael O. Su Otto, born July 10, 1988, known professionally as Sarkodi, is a Ghanaian rapper, songwriter, and entrepreneur from Tima. His contributions to the Ghanaian music industry have earned him numerous accolades, including the Vodafone Ghana Music Award for Artiste of the Decade. He was announced the first winner of BET's Best International Flow Artist at the 2019 BET Hip Hop Awards. He is also considered one of the major proponents of the Azanto genre and dance, and one of the most successful African rappers of all time. He has a net worth of $93 million. On number 4, we have Innocent. Mafu Mulo born 11 March 1976. Better known by his stage name, Black Coffee, is a South African DJ record producer, and songwriter. His accolades include eight South African Music Awards, four DJ Awards, two Metro FM Awards, and a Grammy Award for Best Dance, Electronic Album. He has a net worth of $112 million, and he owns big companies in both Africa and America. On number three, we have Burna Boy. He spent his early years in Nigeria, he owned his musical talents there and absorbed the cultural richness that would later influence his music. He pursuit of musical mastery led him to accumulate an impressive $158 million net worth in 2024, according to Freshers Live. On number 2, we have Yusu Nidors, born on October 1, 1959, in Senegal. Senegalese singer known for his extraordinary vocal range, and for introducing international audiences to Mabalax, a Senegalese popular music style that blends Wolof traditional instrumental and vocal forms primarily with Cuban and other Latin American popular genres. He served as Senegal's Minister for Culture and Tourism in 2012 to 2013. He has a net worth of $199 million. For over 40 years, Yusu Nidor's distinctive voice, 
Rhythmic melody and powerful lyrics have been thrilling audiences in Africa and across the world. He frequently referred to as one of the best and famous singer alive in Senegal and Africa. And our number one richest musician in Africa is Don Jazzy. He has a net worth of $319 million. Michael Collins Ajeri was born on 26 November 1982. Known professionally as Don Jazzy, is a Nigerian record producer. He founded the record label Maven Records in 2012, for which he serves as Chief Executive Officer CEO and has signed artists including D Prince. Prior, he co founded Mo Hits Records with DeBange in 2004 and served as an in-house producer for Kanye West Good Music from 2011 to 2015. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this.